Today, Medical Lake is at a junction of looking at our past and beginning to reimagine and rebuild its community and to recapture the vision of its forefathers. To rebuild a thriving community where the residents, government, and local businesses work and prosper together. Before we can build a stronger future for our community, we must understand its rich history in which it was founded. With the support of our community partners, Reimagine Medical Lake is producing a series of historical videos about our community. The first one is an introduction to the mini-series in which we are planning to make. The introductional video highlights the important events in the life of Medical Lake as a community. We will start from the very beginning of our history of record. Medical Lake history starts with the original inhabitants of this area, our Native American brothers and sisters. The Native American tribes called the lake Skookum Linichin Chuck, or Strong Medicine Water. Following the Native Americans, European settlers began arriving in 1872 to the area. Most well known were Andrew LeFay and Lord Stanley Hallett. Through Mr. LeFay and Mr. Hallett, more and more business-minded settlers came and capitalized on the healing power of the lake. The video will show the impact of the news about healing power of the lake and how Medical Lake as early as 1879 attracted thousands of people from the nearby towns, especially from Spokane. Medical Lake became one of the most popular excursions by people from Spokane and eastern Washington towns. Of course, the railroad played a major role in the growth of Medical Lake. In 1904, the electric rail lines were built from Spokane to Medical Lake. This made Medical Lake into a popular weekend excursion spot. As the popularity of Medical Lake grew, so as its potential to become home to major service institutions, such as the Eastern State Hospital, it officially opened in 1891, followed later on by the building of the Lakeland Village as it is known today. Our history will also touch on the issue of sustainability of what was Medical Lake. Unfortunately, due to major factors, the growth of Medical Lake could not be sustained. In 1946, a headline declared that Medical Lake had lost its salty properties and become a freshwater lake. The days when Medical Lake was synonymous with healing waters were long gone. In the years since the population has dropped, some businesses closed, and many left town. Fortunately, during World War II, Medical Lake received a major boost when the U.S. Army announced plans to build Spokane Army Air Corps Depot right on the edge of Medical Lake. This depot grew to become what is now known as Fairchild Air Force Base, bringing employment and population to Medical Lake. However, this did not stop the downward spiral of Medical Lake for what it was at its peak. Today, Medical Lake has only a few steady businesses and a handful of struggling businesses. People have forgotten what Medical Lake used to stand for, a preferred destination for people to live and work and vacation. The residents of Medical Lake are hopeful that they can revitalize the city as the Founding Fathers did and revision it. In recent months, a newfound community pride has been sensed. New businesses have been established and old businesses have begun to be refreshed. This is a slow process, but with your help and with that of our community neighbors, Medical Lake can once again return to its thriving community where residents, government, and local businesses work and prosper together. As we take this journey, we will witness stories that have been told and many that have not been told by the pioneer families that made this contribution to the richness of our history. By studying our past, we hope that we can discover a clearer vision of where Medical Lake will be in the future. Won't you join us?